Bitch, I swear my mind stuck on grind, getting dizzy. If you down a ride by my side, then you with me. I ain't gotta lie, I got pride in my city, justified. Guess that's why I stay busy, work. But yeah, uh, it was interesting in the fact that uh, I felt like there wasn't a lot going on for the uh the they didn't give away a lot of the actual like hero stuff in fact was, they, was this for that star girl right yeah yeah the dc's star girl yeah DC's yeah star girl. <laughs> which is so funny because it's on fucking disney plus <laughs> uh if we need further further proof that the dc uh streaming service is dead or dying i don't think we gotta look farther than that um. Do you, uh, so you like that? Uh, I'm in the back cave for today. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I, I think it's I pretty never, interesting. It's funny because it looks very similar to the green screen we did. You know what I mean? When I had the screen set. Oh yeah! Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just using my cheapy camera. I mean, actually, I should probably plug in my better camera. To tell you the truth, let me do that right now. I mean, the cheapy one does right okay. There. It's also easier when there's two of us, you know what I mean? It's a little less noticeable, so... But can, yeah. Compared to when it was, like, the whole screen. Alright, there we go. Yeah, not bad at all. It's interesting. Oh, yeah, much better. Yeah, see, now it doesn't look all fuzzy, bright, kind of color yeah. I was looking earlier. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Well, um, yeah, other than that, um... Oh, we... shit. What, 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 what do we do now? We got blocked. <laughs> ah, <laughs> you sons like of bitch. Screen. Oh, dude, was that video too long? Yeah, I guess so. Wow, look at that. Much. All right, well, I guess we'll have to restart it then. Oh, I just seen okay. it too, yeah, come up. Yep, all right, well, that's fine. We'll stop. Yeah, we've, we've gone longer before without that happening. Huh? I think it's just because it's CW Disney stuff and that it was like, new you know what i mean so they're just watching for uh -huh. it i'm guessing uh Maybe. yeah but hey it's whatever we're gonna keep going and figure it out that's fine we have to cut that out of uh most of the youtube videos anyway because we can't use it on youtube but i mean it looked interesting it looked like a very wholesome like you know coming of age type story for the star girl stuff i mean i'm not not excited to see it you know what i mean it's just i haven't really I wait for them to actually get full stories and stuff done, so I, you know, I know it's worth watching. Yeah, exactly. But besides that, I mean, no, that's not what I want. Where do I have my dashboard for this? Besides that, there was uh, obviously one of the bigger news is we had in the past couple of weeks with the Snyder Cut coming out. Oh yeah, that was uh, that was hmm. Yeah, I have a lot to say about it. What the, the first thing I gotta say is I was wrong. It, you were wrong that it didn't exist. Is that what? It was no, it is? didn't exist because it doesn't exist because it's not done. I was right about that. I was wrong that it would never come out. <laughs> they oh, they finally harassed out. and badgered and bullied DC actors and artists enough to just say fuck it, we'll make it. Yeah. All, well, all they had to do was make like five people quit, including one of the people they liked. I thought, well, I don't know if it's true, but who knows? But he said supposedly he's like it's the Scott because he even took a picture of it uh, on his Twitter account, Scott Snyder, where uh, he goes, "It exists, it's real." Because no, it, it's real. not, like, bro. It's, it's here. It's That's here. it's not, bro. They've confirmed in multiple articles that he needs twenty to thirty million dollars. He's gonna have to do new shoots to finish his story. Not reshoots, yeah. new shoots, which is different, but still means the movie wasn't done. Um, yeah. And even if it's just not VFX, uh, do you ever see that version of Wolverine, the original Wolverine movie without the effects that came out early? Remember they leaked yeah. the one scene of the FX? Yeah, I'll talk to you later as I go upstairs. Don't, gotta go upstairs for now. Go it, upstairs, not right now. It would have been essentially the same as that thing. Talk to you later. But, uh -huh. You know, that's just one of those things. It's like, all right, I, it's it was the things that I had to swallow. It's like, all right, some things I was wrong about, some things that proved right. It proved that there wasn't something ready to just release, 
which is what a lot of people on the internet were like, well, just release the Snyder Cut. Literally, it wasn't create the Snyder Cut, it was release the Snyder Cut, implying that it's already done, which it wasn't. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens. Um... Well, did you hear like the uh, the logistics of what they're going to do? No, with the what's what's going on with it? So it's going straight to HBO Max. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. That one, yeah. I yeah, know. yeah. And it's, it's gonna, gonna be back. like four to six episodes. Oh, it's an episode. Yeah, okay, it's not gonna idea. be a movie. It's gonna be episodic movie, most likely, is what they're saying, uh, because okay. of the amount of extra shit he's gonna have to film and the crazy amount of stuff he has to stuff in. Uh, so is everyone gonna have to come back? Or right, like. Uh, he like you said, they said they only need to do a couple new shoots, so they shouldn't have to like recontract anybody for like uh, shooting and stuff. I mean, even if they did, it looks like a lot of them would be on board from what we've seen on Twitter and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, there's a lot of things I have to say about it, regardless. So like, it's the same thing I'll say about the Ultimate Edition, in that you shouldn't need an extra hour and a half to make your movie good yeah it's, well, especially a movie like batman and and superman in the justice league like two and a half hours if you couldn't do it in two hours or two and a half hours i mean how long mm-hmm. how long was endgame and stuff because i'll give them the longest that a superhero movie that is successful has ever been done and that's the longest one i can think of off the top marvel's uh... longest movie End game. All right, three hours, two minutes. So, maybe you can. I will say that's also at the very end of a big <laughs> list of movies that uh, you know well, culminated. How many episodes going to be? Are they going? Are they going? Fifty, for an hour, forty minutes. I think it's forty minutes to an hour. So it's going to be like Game of Thrones. This I'm guessing. But with only twenty mm-hmm. to thirty million to redo and finish at VFX, I mean, I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, they'll just have mm-hmm. to stick with base photography in a lot of cases. Or videography but you, you know what i'm yeah. saying like i think you and i are both perfectly <sighs> knowledgeable in the fact that 20 million dollars on vfx ain't shit mm-hmm. so well, uh yeah this is the thing is now now that he comes out with this you know he's got to be really careful now because he has to do well uh, yeah, yeah if it doesn't do well then uh, he's pretty much done yeah. dc is it's... pretty much done if this doesn't do well dc eu is done like because one, it was based around Zack Snyder's vision originally, and that's what yeah. they've been saying for the longest. All these characters, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, who's supposed to save the. I've been seeing the new because all the DC stands are hyped for this. I've been seeing the new like memes where it's like uh, the Snyder or what was it, Joker crushed Endgame. It did really good. It made some good records, yeah. but overall statistics would say that it's still you know didn't beat aquaman yeah that's true <laughs> however it, it was more then that that's my problem though. Movie as well yeah my problem it also didn't release in china oh you see see that again that's because it wasn't going for the I guess right that block which is kind right of which is fine it. but that just means it didn't now if you want to go by ish by amounts of performance then we can have a whole nother talk but then you you yeah. start have to you start having to realize that most of the dceu is not profitable mm-hmm. like batman versus superman had like maybe 100 million in profits or 200 million in profits not gross but profits justice league took a loss Ooh, yeah i mean yeah i, I mean well it will just i guess we'll have to just see what happens i mean I'm, i kind of have to get hbo max now just to watch this because i, I just want to see i mean i'm gonna be able to watch it without hbo max but <laughs> no i mean I'll, I'll see about getting you to check it out there's some other stuff my thing is though like that's the other thing about it being all right so you sent your your original snyderish movie which everybody in your cultish following has been wanting right like i didn't realize i accidentally joined a snyderbot group earlier and i had to leave because they're just like oh yeah this is i'm like oh i gotta i gotta get out of here it's a dc universe unlimited group if you ever see it avoid it because it's literally just full of like snyderbots it's it's awful 
I did a watch party. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't click the wrong uh, thing. Dude, I, to I, I hate post. that they've added the watch party to everything, though. That bitch is just crazy. But, uh, so, I guess, yeah, so we're talking about movies. There's a, that's coming out. I did hear about that news. That's pretty cool. Um, what was there any other movie news that, uh, that you Trying heard to think? lately? I mean, I just heard updates on, like, stuff we already know. Things coming to VOD, things coming to, let's see, new movies. Coming out. Um, what's, what's coming? Well, so, let's see here. I think, honestly, most people are just waiting for Netflix shit since all the movies have been kind of post <laughs> Yeah. You know what I've been liking on my Facebook these last couple of weeks has been the Sailor Moon Artist Challenge. I, yeah, I saw that one where they were doing the different ones. That was interesting. Uh, I mean, I like all the art challenges. I used I like to watch the uh, videos on YouTube where they'll do, like, all right, do this person in a animator or cartoonist style or mm-hmm. multi-styles runs. And then even, like, one of my exes had done a run on a, like, uh, Sailor Moon horror scouts or whatever, serial killers. So it was all, like, Jason and Freddy and stuff. They're pretty good. Well, I guess there was that news of the Sony doing a, I suppose, I don't know if it was true, if it was Madam Web or if it was Jackpot movie that they were doing. I, one of the two. I just, Sony needs to get their shit together. And then uh, Muppets Now is coming to Disney+. Plus. I, I, they were supposed to do that in the beginning I right think was so why is like... uh, I, I forget what would happen why it, it fell through but looks yeah i'm kind of glad it came back though so there's that also as well uh umbrella academy is uh supposedly dropping july 31st season two and i really enjoyed the first season so i'll be watching that again here um Looks like Bill and Ted is still coming out for August, but it may be a uh, on-demand thing, video on demand, which kind of sucks. I wanted to see this in theaters, but you know, well, I mean, you know, yeah, do do? <laughs> that's true. I, it's but my at the same, my favorite. At the like same time, that'll yeah. let you binge through all of the Ted movies at once when it comes out. You can literally like start yeah. at a certain time, and then when they online release, yeah. you can just go right well, into it. When they when they, <laughs> when they first announced it, I went ahead and watched the one and two already. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I know. Uh, I, that's how I usually do. If like when the new Star Wars movie comes then, out, I gotta watch uh, all the old ones. I guess. Uh, did you see that they changed the mascot for the Toucan Sam of uh, Fruity Loops? What? Yeah, he is more cartoonish now. He is not a. Oh, uh, almost, either. almost all of them have done that, dude. Yeah. Like ninety yeah. percent of them have like kid. I was just very surprised. I call it the Adventure Time yeah, treatment. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is that's it's, what everyone it's, says. It's, it's fine. <laughs> It's fine. It's the Adventure Time treatment. You you get, you reduce production costs, yeah. increase CGI effects, which is not always a bad thing. I I didn't realize until I was like reading through and looking at production stuff for like, uh, a couple of the manga and anime that I was reading and watching, that mm-hmm. uh they had like been doing the same like they and I didn't notice. You know what I mean? They had CGI'd on a lot of like the textures for some of the characters because they were so complex that they couldn't do them by hand fast enough. Huh, okay. Because they were, like, really intricate uh, Japanese textures. And it was just, like, it was done really well. I couldn't tell. You know what I mean? I couldn't tell it was CGI on top. So they really got the form mat- uh, meshing done correctly or nice. whatever whatever pattern, whatever uh, style they used to overlay for that. Mm-hmm. But I'd assumed it was mesh okay. forming, you know? stuff's easy well well i guess uh since we don't really talk about to- toys to a lot of toys news this uh this week um, that's, funko, that's good yeah funko had a um a uh a week of they called it funko ween <laughs> so they had a quite a few here for their and i i, I bought a few of them that's for sure <laughs> uh, there's some cool I wanted, but uh, some of the ones that I guess to kind of highlight here were the Edward Scissorhands that are coming out again. They had some exclusive ones. Uh, they had one even with the uh, with the dinosaur in the back when he's clipping the bushes. So that was oh, some cool. cool ones to come out with. Um, some of my other favorite ones were the uh, Mickey and Minnie Mouse uh, Funko Pops. They were um, Minnie. Uh, Minnie's kind of riding a rich broom, and she kind of has her eyes closed with the witch hat on, and then uh, Minnie. Mickey Mouse is uh, wearing like a Dracula cape 
um, with some teeth on him. Or I think I don't think he has teeth. Nope, never mind. No teeth on him. He just no has the teeth cool looking on cape. Me. And what's cool, um, what's cool is that they're all kind of like their their black and white versions though. So there's uh, and then they just have orange to kind of hint out some of their uh their clothes. So like Minnie has an orange bow, orange shoes, and then um, Mickey has an orange cape and orange shoes, and then everything else is black and white. Um, so that's pretty cool. I I definitely picked those up. Um. Then they also came out with some uh, Stephen King uh, It uh, um, Funko Pop. Um, Stephen King himself, sorry. <laughs> um, and he has actually one of them was an exclusive uh, for his Corgi, I guess. Um, I don't know what his Corgi's oh, you name is. Yeah, I don't remember, the, but his, he loves his thing. dog. It's like the evil thing or something. The thing of evil. Yeah. I think the, is what it's called. It's funny. But, uh, he yeah, he mentions his dog in all of the afterwards of his books. Like, it's crazy. There's like ah, a good percentage of it. Right. Cool. Oh yeah, he mentions it in well, his, yeah, he, his he, yeah. Facebook post too all the time. Well, well, if you want a if you want a little Funko Pop of a little Corgi, <laughs> you can get it now. That's <laughs> hilarious. So there's that, and then he had another version of him holding the it cloud. That's what I meant to say. He was holding the. It he clown, was holding. Though, okay, it's know, him uh, holding it. That's cool. I I think yeah, they do. The, I think uh, Funko is really good at like understanding one its clientele and two the people it like sources from. So it understands. It's like uh, all right, yeah. people want like versions of these and creative things, and they're like, but the uh, the. The people they're based on also want money and like props so we gotta like cater to both and Funko does pretty good at that yeah. i think they're very good about like accessible lights oh yeah very much mm-hmm. like I, I like funko's i mean i, I gotta get some more of yeah. course and there's just I'll, a few i have to grab yeah. i tried to stay away because then it gets uh, it gets a little too much and i start looking at some like oh i want that oh i want that one 45 dollars oh i'm just like <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah some I, of the other ones that they had was a uh, visible man uh frankenstein that glows in the dark um a few of the other ones were some harry potter pops that came oh the ones i actually picked up with some marvel zombie ones that oh came that's out. cool i would pick up some marvel zombie <laughs> yeah. ones. yeah yeah, they did those ones. They did uh, Marvel's uh, Venom. They did uh, Zombie uh, uh, Wolverine. They even had a glow in dark one, so I picked that one up. <laughs> and then um, the other one was an exclusive from Hot Topic. The Silver Surfer one was pretty cool. He had like his head popped off and was holding it, and he had this surfboard. <laughs> that one was pretty cool. Um, Mysterio one was uh, most coolest because uh, I think in the comics too, he's just like a giant brain, right? In the Mar- Marvel Zombies version. Uh, he, but, uh, it's, it's interesting the way they did him, but he's like I mean, a the same thing they did with the Funko Pop. It's just a giant brain with this uh, the the shell popped, you know, cracked open, and one of them was even glow in the dark as well. So I thought that was pretty cool. I think they had a also a Hulk uh, zombie as well. Um, so those are the other ones that they had here. And then, of course, you know, they always have to do uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> so they had some more Freddy's, of those coming yeah. out. Yeah, they did a lot of good so, stuff, man. Like, they have a big select. Like, oh, man, I couldn't even imagine what their actual number of different produced. Oh, yeah, right. That, that It's got to be in, like, the tens of thousands at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, some Haunted Mansion Funko Pops as well that they came out with. Um, I think the last few things that were, yeah, just the Marvel Zombie ones are so cool. I like those. Yeah, those awesome. dude. Oh, my favorite ones were the uh, Corpse Bride, Tim Burton. So they haven't done that one before, so that one's new. They just uh, released those ones as well. And uh, um, oh, the Beetlejuice characters. You remember um, the couple when they were turning into monsters to scare yeah. the, the people who haunted the house? One of them had the mouth open with the eyeballs. Yeah, it's and their the typical the uh, eyeball fingers. So they did those Funko Pops now, and I was like, ah, I gotta have those too. Did they not <laughs> have you Funko's? Right. They got before? me. They, no, they did not. Those Maybe ones, I've seen uh, them as pops uh, like, then, because I swear yeah, they had uh, done the I've Beetlejuice stuff as like little ones. But it yeah, might have been done as pops. They've done Beetlejuice before, but they never actually did the couple. Actually, I they've swear I've seen the couple. Well. They've done the girl, um, and I think that's about it. They even did Beetlejuice with the famous hotel, the Roach Motel over there. Right. <laughs> he goes to but and then last few things is the craft craft is cool i never really was a, my favorite thing to watch but i, yeah, I know there's fine. a lot of fans of the craft uh zombie land and i think that was pretty much oh and scoop scoop the from the new movie they did the kid versions of them huh. i mean so, that's, that's uh, yeah that was pretty yeah. much it from funko for the funko oh and i guess you could say the uh, killer clowns from uh outer space my favorite <laughs> that's pretty funny <laughs> my uh my secret uh you know <laughs> no um, i don't say i like that actually uh, so what i don't like that movie i used to watch that with my uncle a bunch he loves to watch that <laughs> it's just it's such a cult classic oh yeah I, and like i said it's one of those and i love it's like it's a cult classic which is a really shitty movie but i enjoy it 
And that's the difference. It's yes. like it's really like a not a great movie, but I like it, so it's cult classic. <laughs> no, I, I get I you. I wish I would have had like these that. pictures up, bro. I should have showed everyone these, but uh, I guess the last few things that came out too is Hasbro came out with some cool things. Um, I also picked up from them. They uh, released uh, the uh, some '90s retro uh, Spider-Man line coming out. So oh. I don't know if you remember picking up the '90s Spider-Man toys back then when they had that retro kind of look. Uh, almost looked like the '90s cartoon pretty much uh, basically um, but they came out with uh, retro versions of those uh, toys that came out back in the 90s and they did a Green Goblin, Spider-Man Gwen Stacy who you can switch the head off and be Mary Jane if you want as well <laughs> and um, some of the other ones were Electro uh, um, I think oh uh, Peter Parker with the uh, half face mask with the spider sense kind of thing people love like, that yeah, yeah, the, the yeah, image of that. Yeah, I, I, it's not my favorite. I like I it for the cartoon. Out. Yeah, for for a cartoon as yeah, a kid, it was good. Cool, but, but as a as yeah. a figure, I don't think it would look good. I think yeah, rather I than that one, the uh, mask that you see him when it's like always half torn off. That's yeah, my that's, favorite version uh, of the mask. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah, that one's They're cool. similar, but one's like realistic, and the other one's like mm -hmm. cartoony comic. So it's harder to like to pick. Uh, the other one that was. Cool. It was a Moon Knight one that they came out with too. That one went fast. It was a Walgreens exclusive. Dude, I don't know Some why, but the cult of Moon Knight that. is lit. They love Moon Knight. It, yeah, I did not know, but it's oh, like, dude, yeah, and and to be fair, really like big. old Moon Knight is like mediumish, but new Moon Knight, the newest Moon no, Knight, Moon Knight's, yes, 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 yeah, yeah, it yeah. was so good. It was because it went into That's actual what like they talk about. They never talk about the. They talk yeah, about some of his original stuff because the original stuff's okay, but he really yeah. it's it's mostly. To to like reference like how he has become a better mm -hmm. character over time which he does like originally so, he was just like some crazy batman and now he's just like some really yeah, crazy batman <laughs> yeah at first i felt like that's what oh yeah he absolutely but, is. but he's just got his own I'm twist starting, i'm starting to yeah become a moon knight fan so i'm kind of P, uh, a little bit, no, not P.O., but I'm a little yeah, sad that I didn't pick that up as well. I, it was I so could loud, actually but, oh, see wow. myself get oh, a Moon Knight one, but not before I got a Spider-Man one. I'd have to get a Spider-Man one first. Um, <laughs> so, but, yeah, I, I yeah. had to get those just because, you know, the nostalgia and me. The, and, oh, yeah, as soon as I seen them, I was like, oh, those bring back memories. They, uh, those are good memories. I never got those toys, tied to the truth, because I think, honestly, those always sold out so quickly. Oh, yeah. Uh, but we just didn't have... I mean, my yeah. parents never been able to get those. Yeah. But, you know, they weren't as, you know, up to date as nerdy as me and as Hey, you oh, guys yeah. gotta my time. my parents <laughs> just were like they were like yeah it's your birthday yeah here's some like they, like yeah, you said cool. they weren't really having their pulse on the finger of necessarily what i like but even beyond that it was like all right those toys you had to go and get them immediately and they were they they were full-time jobs they weren't gonna go <laughs> wait in line yeah, all the yeah. night for a toy yeah that exactly. was, that was, i mean yeah i mean toys back then for us were way they were I mean, like the video games are, still, are. I think toys are still yeah exactly I, I think toys are still alive now today because it's just because of us <laughs> from back then and we us and babies it that's even... it those are the only people who use it are like adults and babies no kids use toys anymore which is why if, if i get a chance like i'll just like move to a mountain and just, all the electronics go in one shed it's the electronic shed <laughs> you can't go in there unless you've done your daily like milking of the cow you gotta yeah. be down to earth and that's like or some shit because so, man like some so the, things are getting lost in in the translation you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah so so it's pretty cool to like i said to see some of these you can bring up one of these up i think i can bring one up at least for you guys at least a spider-man toy up but uh I mean, I think that's pretty much it for the toy world. That was pretty cool, though, at least to see some of those things coming out. You know, keep things alive and going. For sure. <laughs> Since there's no movies or anything like that. Um, I did check out that new game, uh, Man Eater, though, where you play as a shark. Oh, yeah, I did see that you were streaming that. It's How fun. did it go? I really enjoyed it. It's good. It, yeah, it's, it's enjoyable. For um, It doesn't seem too repetitive. I mean... It is kind of, but it, it's just fun, you oh, know. It's, it's, it's just a, it's one of those dumb slap kind of funny games you just want to play and um, oh, no, you kind of lose your time cool. with it. And then you get to evolve into like a uh, crazy mutations of like the shark. You can like That's turn into cool. like this crazy electric magnetic shark <laughs> and all these other stuff. Improve your jaw strength. Improve all your. Uh, or you can even oh. change the different types of teeth you have. So like it was cool. I like that because they had like an electric teeth and the other teeth were like. Um, 
they were like not like sharp teeth but they were more used for taking down boats and the way they designed them they were actually uh uh like prehistoric uh shark teeth i, I forget you they're not they're like really um just straight edge and they have like um no sharpness to them at all so i really like that they are kind of using like different aesthetics from different sharks and everything to kind of upgrade your shark and look make him look different it wasn't just saying oh now you put these teeth on and it does this no it was actually they, they added some new look to it to you know that's make cool it i really like reason. it when games do that like your loadout actually changes your visual character model and your in-game mm -hmm. actions or your in-game uh well, like the best, fun too, the best part is like shark, Doom wearing a suit, acts. right? Like Doom wearing one of the suits, you can, you know, you're going through the actions in your your Doomicorn suit or whatever. You know what I mean? That's yeah. part, the kind of stuff. Um, and so I figured, so, nice, yeah. Th there, there's the. Uh, let me see if I got the way. He's uh, like, I gotta lean to the side. Oh no, his so, face is gone yeah, now. <laughs> so yeah, there it is, right there. It's pretty cool. I mean, like I said, it's got that. I like how they have look. the squinty eyes. <laughs> That's it's one like, of the faces, like, just one of his faces. The only difference is the squinty eye. <laughs> <laughs> At least give me, like, the half-ripped-off face and not just the squinty eyes. <laughs> no, that's cool, though. I, I mean, obviously anyone who's, like, either had those toys or even watched the show at that time, because I never had one of those toys either, but I would definitely love to have one of those fucking toys because they look awesome. <laughs> and that, that, that series really was, like, Prior to Batman the Animated Series, that was probably the best comic book uh, animated series of all time. Yeah. And yeah, honestly, pretty, yeah. there's still people who would argue that Spider-Man or X-Men is still better than Batman in the Animated Series because it follows actual comic book threads, plots. Whereas yeah, Batman yeah, no, just did its true. own adaptions. Yeah, that is very true. Yeah, because it does pull from the comic books a lot. It's um, not even I'm pulled. They're like translations. Things, but yeah, still, there's yeah, very... like. It's very light translations, and if you go by the X-Men, they're almost like word for word from the comic a lot of the times, mm -hmm. which is really uh, good stuff. Like, people like to see that, to add new things, but to be, cause, like, the the best example I always think of is, like, once again, the Walking Dead scene with fucking, uh, fuck, I always forget, I don't know why I'm forgetting his name right now, <laughs> but the mag, the fucking scene with, uh, the bat has always been really good not just because it was so graphic but because it was translated so well no yeah negan. with glenn yeah glenn and negan it's just i don't know why i was blanking on the names for a minute but yeah that <laughs> scene is is accurate and that's one of the reasons people love it so much and i think that spider-man and x-men were the same and batman to a limited extent but it was better it was just it was cleaner and less contrived so it was able to bring new ideas and stories and introduce new things like harley quinn that stayed within the universe later so it really it was in my opinion better but maybe not the better comic book adaption okay yeah but right. well, i definitely did like this but as much as i love spider-man and x-men batman was a really well-made series like batman is yeah it's always always one of my favorites i can't wait to read the read the comic yeah the new the, the, the continued yeah or whatever i, yeah, I forgot what the, the actual Man adventures continue yeah, yeah something like that um it's supposed to come out actually next week I they, think. yeah it is uh they already put the cover out um they did do that a while back but obviously uh they did have they always do this to me they release some stuff on the off time for marvel but it's a fucking collection so i'm looking it's like hulk versus avengers I'm like yeah what's this and it's like oh wait no it's is a collection of previous times the hulk has fought the avengers <laughs> um but i figured we'd cover at least some of the uh stuff that's coming out this week in comics since things are starting to come out again in even in dc in more earnest uh, mm -hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, this is DC's regular release schedule because they can only afford to put out eight or nine books a week. Um, ah. But uh, Gotham Knights, number five from Batman, DC's Tope at World's End, number one, DC's Dunkillables, number three, Plunge, number three, Red Hood Outlaw, number 45, which is actually a really good series. Uh, Superman's okay. Pal, Jimmy Olsen, number 10, The Dollhouse Family, I haven't checked out yet, number six. Wonder Woman 755, which means they're going back to the legacy numbering for this issue. Uh, Superman, yeah. Man of Tomorrow, number 5. Teen Titans Go to Camp, number 13. And Wonder Woman, Agent of Peace, number 5. Um, I haven't read all of these, but I know for a fact most of the best ones are going to be those deceased. Honestly, everything coming out of uh, the Black Label is like way better than... Let's, 
let's see here. I'm gonna do my screen share here so we can kind of show some people what's coming out next week. Nice. That might be better, right? Yeah. So, uh, you know, we got some cool things from Image. We got 20XX, Black Science, some trade books. Oh, you know what I've been reading? I've been reading Exo Sisters. I don't really like that series. You should check it out. It's about these two sisters, and they're, you know, just taking out demons and stuff. Actually, the other one, I'm not going to, I don't want to spoil too much, but yeah, uh, you have to, there's a little twist with the other sister nice. in that story. So you have to check that out. Uh, Mercy number two comes out. Um, oh my gosh, I can't wait. Farmhand number 15 comes out next week. Um, let's see. Mercy two has actually been okay. Uh, first issue was all right. Didn't really get, didn't really get oh, to wow, the Oh wow, they're doing Postal's collection, huh? Yeah, I didn't even Postal's know they had finished it. coming out. I didn't know they finished. Nope. Wrong way. Let's see here. I mean, those are always good stuff coming out, obviously. Yeah. And then uh, Dark Horse, let's see. They have uh, a couple things, nothing much. Uh, Blackwood Morning is uh, pretty good so far. Frankenstein Undone by... Um, Mike, uh, the guy who did Tailboy, uh, oh, I can't really? say his last name, Mignal I, yeah. Mignalo? Mignalia. Mignalia, yeah, he's that's his book. So, so I haven't checked that out, I don't know if it was good or not. IDW is coming out with some guys. I always forget that theme Sonic is back. Yeah, yeah, Sonic's back. And that one's been pretty good so far, too. And then, like you said, yeah, it's DC stuff, yep. Aquaman, and back to fall. Got some more Batman, Flash. Batman Beyond's supposed to be pretty some... good. Uh, they've got good stuff now. No, Jark, uh, Joker and Harley Criminal is going to be coming back. And then looks like we have some Stargirl stuff for the show. <laughs> oh, at least we'll get some more. Uh, That's more terrific. are going to get canceled, by the way. <laughs> and then finally, Marvel is finally coming back to yep. next week. Yay. Which I've been waiting for Venom twenty five. It's coming. Uh, uh, yeah, there's I'm, a new first appearance. I'm now, actually. Like Kate said. I'm super excited for Marauders ten because it's supposed to touch on what's going on with Kate Hyde right now. I I still need to catch up. Yeah, there, I, I gotta. Well, I know. There's honestly, yeah. Marauders is one of my more favorite titles. Nice on that new okay. run. Obviously the main title, the main X-Men run, is really the only one you have to read, actually. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, the others have other stuff, but that's the only one you have to read. Um, and then it's uh, stuff. Kind of my, mm, you know, I read some of the stuff, not too much, really. Red Sun is There's okay, but it's just been around so long that I have yeah, yeah. yeah, they've just been around yeah, so long. They, Those are stage stage. Yeah, there's their names of the industry. Uh, Alienated uh, has been pretty good read. Um, let's see, Gogo -Go Power Rangers has been pretty good. Um, King oh, King of Nowhere, you should check that out. I think you would like that. The art style is really crazy for, and it, it fits the storytelling well. Um, so that one, I should just check that out. Um, let's see, and I think the last step is just this one: comics and graphic novels. And looks like we got some Attack on Titan stuff. We have just some other. Oh, this has actually been pretty world. good. Cat shit. You should check out cat <laughs> shit. Cat <laughs> shit. It's a. Uh, it's about some bunnies and fighting in the Vietnam War style kind of uh, drawing, and it's kind of even done like in a manga kind of style drawing. Uh, just check it out. It's really cool. I've actually, I actually got the first issue, and I, I, think, I thought it was stupid at first, and then I looked through, and I was like, oh, this is really well like done. So like, sometimes they are. I mean, and once again, it's always also a preference. Like I've, I've had to like put myself on the back where I remind myself of that as I'm like, yeah, because I'm like, they, I'm reading things and they're like, well, you need to like read a hundred <laughs> chapters of this or watch a hundred episodes of this or you haven't seen the right things. Like, well, maybe. And then um, it looks like Two Dead Days coming out as well next week, which is it looks like a pretty good book. Here, let me kind of show you what the premises of this one is about. You might like this one. Um, meet the Haskins scene on the Superior family as they prepare for the annual Macrobee holiday known as Dead Day. When they deceased rise from the grave from sunset to sunrise, some come back to reunite with the family and friends, others for one last night of debauchery, still others with only one thing on their decomposing mind, revenge. Seems pretty interesting. So, it sounds interesting. It's um, kind of like The Purge, but okay. for zombies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. So that that one sounds interesting. I got that on my pool list. So that one I should see next week as well. 
Um, exciting comics. Um, got some manga stuff. Got some stuff from Antarctic Press, Gold Digger. Um, let's see, just grim fairy tales. I don't, I've heard those are pretty cool, but I've never read those books before. The grim fantasy is not bad either. Yeah. You know, just some more manga stuff. Oh, Rogue Planet actually sounded pretty good too. That's from uh, Onion Press or o- oh, nice. Oni or whatever. Oni, Oni Press, Press, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then... a bunch of manga. Oh, that reminds me. I still gotta go read the new chapters that got released today on Biz. And that's so pretty much it for, uh, for all that. And then I guess we could go back to. Uh... Hold on, really quick here. Oh yeah, here's some of the Marvel Legend, more of the Marvel Legend stuff. Right I did see a lot of these there. actually. Now that I think, I didn't know that these were toys though. They, I just saw the pictures and I was like, what are these? Yeah, they originally, so, yeah, cause, well, because some of them were posed with their cases, like that Electro was just posed, oh, yeah, and they yeah, looked like, that, like this. Yeah, yeah, and even like the one I saw didn't have his accessories, so it was just Electro. And I was like, oh well, they got like a figure from the old <laughs> series. You know what I mean? So I was like, they, I was exactly, like, what's going yeah. on here? That's a cool that show right there. Yeah, I mean, they're nice. Yeah, with the half fucking spider face. Uh, ah, and people love that. Look at his nerdy glasses. <laughs> I don't. I don't. That's the one those thing are I didn't the, buy those are wrong. because the glasses they're, are so big. They look like goggles. They're, they're wrong. Yeah, they did those glasses wrong. That's not how they <laughs> oh my look. guys, I know that's what they looked like back then, but you could they, at least like they, made them they look they a did, little better. They did, but that's not like what they looked like in the show. His glasses were never like <laughs> no, like it's that just round. The way that they, they couldn't make them look like that. No, yeah, they couldn't. It, the molding for do. that isn't <laughs> right. <laughs> See, that's cool. The Green Goblin looks like my favorite, though. Yeah, I like the Green Goblin. Movie. It looks just like my favorite. <laughs> what does that look like? No, yeah, I, it's no, cool. So... Like I said, that I I remember seeing those actually now. That's fucked up. Mary Jane that's and Gwen Stacy chat. Up. I, I bought it though. That's that's <laughs> fucked up in so many ways. I can't even start. Because uh, I, I looked at it first and I was like. Well, wait, this is, says Gwen Stacy. It, has, it doesn't say anything about Mary Jane or anything. And then I was like, is that just, did she have a different hair color at one point? And then I looked into more of the info on it. And it like, semi says, there's a Mary, there's like, you can swap the hair for Mary face. Jane. Oh my like, god. Oh my god. That's so fucked up in so many ways. So, Women are not yeah. interchangeable. See, look, <laughs> see, look, it has nowhere on the box, nowhere, slash, at Mary Jane. It just says Gwen Stacy. It's like in the fine print, and it says with Mary Jane. The Daredevil one's pretty close, the old school 90s one. Wow, dude. I forgot about that design. Yeah, yeah, there's that one too coming out. Oh, there's his box for it. Um, let's see. Then there's Spider Man, the original we got there. And then we got some uh, some of these ones here. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for them. Uh, and then, like I said, though, here's the Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. I think those are pretty cool. So they, it, was, but, uh, it's been a nice one. I think we're pretty much at the yeah. End I was of gonna say time. is that yeah. pretty much it, huh? Uh, and now uh, you know we did what we could, considering we never really had that much to talk about with this whole epidemic going on. But I mean, it, things are starting to relax. Whether or not they should be, who knows? That's what the scientists decide. Twenty years from now, when they have all the information, <laughs> goddamn yeah, right, scientists. Right. Uh, that's what huh. people don't understand. Science is not. Fast. It's not how it's science right. works. Yeah, I know. You know. But, so hopefully we'll see. I mean, uh, things have been pretty good here so far. I think people um, are. It's really about people, and hopefully people aren't as bad as I think they are. But you know, new miracles every day. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, I hope. Like I said, hope things will kind of. We'll see how things will go back here shortly. And it's been okay so far. This uh, past. Um, Week. Past uh, we uh, actually this whole month for me. So I think it's just because I've lucked out and my job has uh, let me um, work from uh, home and continuing oh, yeah. to let us work from home for a while. Oh, yeah. so, I just meant for work. Okay. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Other than that, I mean, that was pretty much it. Like I said, there was some cool toys news. I, I was excited for that at least. Um, some comics are cool. I did read the uh, Battle Stars um, comic, oh, yeah, the Star Wars one, the Battle Tales or something like that. Oh yeah, Tales from. <laughs> yeah, so I picked that up, and then uh, I did pick this up as well. If I guess if you wanna, before we get off here, um, I did pick this up. It's called uh, Ludocrats. 
ludicrous. <laughs> um, but it's it's pretty crazy. Let's see if it lets me do it. With, yeah, that's uh, the only thing focus. about the focuser is it's uh, automatic. It doesn't, like, it doesn't <laughs> like my thing. Hold on, if I can change it to. So it's just normal. automatic. A lot of it's about the lighting in those things. Yeah. Let me see if I could just do this real quick. Hold on. Technical difficulties. Let's put it back to this one. Okay. That's our technical difficulties. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So yeah. There's a uh, few regrets. And uh, it's a pretty good, fun little read so far. Um, Looks but... like it's got a fun character <laughs> on the front. Yeah, yeah, not too, not too crazy. And then, uh, yeah, the the beginning page already. Oh my gosh, it just like sets the stage for what this book is gonna be about. Oh jeez. Yeah, I guess that would do it. <laughs> yeah, we might have so... to censor this shit. Uh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's like don't blur us, fucking Facebook. <laughs> yeah, that's how. Just for a sec. Yeah, I know <laughs> Facebook's on that too. About that. They're on. They're but about I that censorship life. That, yeah, because uh, they have some risque covers that they show on their live streams for comic to sell, mm -hmm. and they always get shut down because somebody always like, yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> dude, sometimes it's the automatic recognizers are actually oh, really good. But a lot, but a lot of them are reported too because people are fucking. Yeah. Bitches. So, but, I, it, yeah. yeah, it looks a pretty crazy story. Other than that, that was pretty much all I read. Just. There was nothing really else. A bunch of DC stuff that I didn't catch up on, like the plunge. It's, yeah, a lot of it's not that great anyway, honestly. Trust me. I only like the basket full of heads, which was the it's one done good. by Joe Hill. Yeah, so far, which is, the I think, the one, one you like. told me about, too. I think. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I like the whole story. It is, uh, it's what good. issue are you on with that one so far? Uh, like um, two, I think? I'm only on issue okay. two it, so far. When you get to, like, three or four, you, you it starts getting really, like, wacky and crazy. Okay. I like it. So far, really it's cool got, story. like, a good premise. It just hasn't kicked off yet. Where I'm at, but it's just also because I was waiting for it to get farther because I'm used to reading yeah. more. I can't do the week to week things. Too many, like, I gotta wait so long back to reading One Piece again for the fifth time or some shit. I wait for <laughs> other things to release chapters, something wrong. Yeah, like. catch up on everything else, shows, oh, God, everything. Yes, yes. yes. But, I still need to even watch uh, the Harley Quinn show, but yeah, other than that, that's it. That's all yeah. I have to say. I think it's about that time, so we're gonna go ahead and end it. Thank everybody for joining us for episode 109, and hopefully, episode 110 is even better than ever. And we'll catch you next time on Comic Combos. <laughs> Just with my mind, stuck on grind, getting dizzy. If you down a ride by my side, then you with me. 